Hi, this is Steve Borelli from Conductive Labs, and we're going to talk a little bit about the MRCC ARP. Um, right now, you can see we're over on the ARP page, and there, right there. And this is under the extras, and we have a key step plugged into uh, USB A1, and we have our soft synth plugged into output 5. So in, instead of routing them, we're actually going to go over to the ARP window and use the cursors to route it because this is uh, an extra. It's not part of the normal patching of, or routing, I should say. So we're going to go ahead and choose A1 here. There we go. And we are, and it's, it is on channel 1, so that's good. And we're going to send this out to destination 5. And I'm going to put it on, ch uh, map the channel, the channel 4, because it comes out green, as you can see up, where is it, right up there, uh, the MIDI aux. In fact, why don't I go ahead and quickly, there we go. Fine. Okay, great. So um, if I hit a note on the play, so we can... stop and if I come up here we have a I had the play in and it uh, armed already but I will also put the latch down so we can just it. We can come back up here and turn off the hold button. So if we hold them down, and that's how it works. Um, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. If you come over to here, there are eight slots of arpeggiators. So you, or I'm sorry, six slots for arpeggiators. And so you could actually have six arpeggiations going on at the same time. That's currently the plan, but we'll need to do some um, exhaustive testing on this, but currently that's the plan. So you would be able to literally have um, six different apagiators going at one time. So you could set up an apagiator, have it latch, go over to the second apagiator, hold other keys down, send it to a different synth, and have that apagiate too. All right, well that's it. Thanks so much.